friends welcome back to my channel I was going to do an ink blending card this week but I saw this and how pretty so we're gonna do some very very simple plain Christmas cards using this let's open this up so I can show you it's all that teal that bluey gray uh, with a little bit of red. It's pretty. It's pretty. Look, it's wintry, I know. Um, well, some of it's wintry. In the sense of, I mean, we do have deers over here, but you know, it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know. But it's just pretty. So winter stroll. This is. That's nice little pretty things. So we've got this little paper, the player one. Love this. I love all of them, but I love this. I just love the colours with the, the bluey grey and the red. It's just really pretty. I thought, first off, I thought it'd be really cool as a six by six, but those pictures. Would just be too small. Just too small. Complaints. So how pretty. Oh look, you get so you get two. Obviously. Two of everything. So lots of Christmas cards. And obviously you can do such a simple little design. There is no other like cutter parts or anything like that. So they're gonna be pretty simple, but they're great for getting a whole heap of cards done finished so I'm gonna trim up one of these and hopefully we will do a couple of really simple cards very 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 simple um, basically a bit of a stick and plonk sort of designs but hopefully and then we'll get a couple of other a little bit more detailed ones in there too so stick around Okay, so we're going to make, actually going to make two cards. Um, they're not um, this straightforward stick and plonk sort of thing, but they're pretty easy as well. So we have this little tab um, set. The set is, is called Paper Rose. It's called Stitch Tab Set. These pieces of paper, I'm making them just a little tiny bit shorter than um, one inch. So they're literally like 4.9 centimeters square and the cardstock is that we're going to put those little squares on is going to be like 5.1. I've used the nest, nesting stitched, no, not the net stitch one, the nesting circles, the Australian size uh, dies to have my card panel. And that's just going to be the straight, the largest one. We've got a little bit of foam tape. We've just mounted this up on um, some little bit of cardstock. This cardstock is just some blue there from my stash. This was, I'd already checked it. It was exactly the right measurement that I wanted. So it worked out like perfectly. It was meant to be. So we just trimmed up a couple of pieces of that. Honestly, these cards are, are pretty straightforward and pretty simple. We're just going to tease it up with a little bit with the tab and the next card is the fun one and I'm going to be doing more that with more of these cards later but we'll talk about it later let's just leave it there for the time being I've just scored down the center of my tab it has um like some stitched markings but I just needed it to be a little bit so I can a little bit stronger so we got paper rose Christmas sentiments and just checking which ones I want to really use here. We've got quite a few small little ones that are going to work. I decided to put it right in, smack bang in the center. This way I knew I didn't have to make sure. I didn't need a bigger piece of cardstock, basically. I could just use um, scraps that I had and therefore just stamp. So we've got a little rejoice. 
I saw a little trick on someone's channel about using your the eraser on your pencils to move your stamps around and they don't stick. I don't know why, but they actually don't. So that worked out really well. Using some gold embossing powder to stamp up this and, well, not stamp this one. This one's Versa Mark that I'm going to stamp with gold embossing powder to emboss it with. And it's just one from Mustache as well. It doesn't really, I don't think it has a really name. It's just a generic um, mix one, but it's a really nice gold. Just getting my placements here. I obviously needed to make sure that I didn't go over my base card because I didn't want to destroy it. Um, have you know have it destroyed in like a, the envelope? Just figuring out where I want to place everything with my little tab. I'm going to glue him down so he will be a little bit easier to move around. So I'm going to stick these all pieces all together being careful it doesn't go too much and then this as a whole we're going to glue down you do need to be careful with your little tab and make sure you don't put too much glue on him and voila and we've got a bit of dimensions with the so many layers so we're just going to glue that straight down It'll be all right on the night. Now in this tab stencil, tab, stitch tab die set, you have a couple of little hearts. So I die cut those out of some, just some red cardstock because there is just really one, really only one little piece had, could see a little bit of red in the bottom square. So we just thought we'd bring a little bit more red into that. Just playing around with my placement, a little bit of multi matte medium to adhere those down. The final things that we're going to do to this card is put a little bit of, I'm just going to fluff around a little bit with positioning, making sure my hearts are relatively straight because this one I did want it. We're going to have a little bit of Christmas red stickles. And I'm also going to add just for a little bit more and add some stardust stickles just in amongst underneath the deer and that's card number one see it's not too hard it's not too hard it's pretty easy this is the fun one this is so much fun and it's so much easier than the old traditional way that we've done shaker cards um there's been a lot in youtube land and instagram where using packaging for your shaker now this panel is just there's not much room to move so i would suggest you know going for a bigger packaging but it was there on my desk oh, that's decided to use it so i already have another because i'm cutting it in half i already have another sheet to use on another shaker just grabbing some tape here now honestly this tape is way too big but it was there and i'd have to go and find my other tape so i uh, that this is what we've got so it's very very sticky it's so simple what all i'm going to do is place it on the top fold it down hold it down with the tape and honestly that is going to be it the bottom half of it i just sort of fold it a bit but you don't really need to too much now the top and bottom one end you gotta obviously leave open the top and bottom you end up with a little corner that is going to stick out so you just trim that off because it's all tightly sealed up so it's fine we've got a little bit of other sequin mix from another from uniquely creative and we've poured just a little bit you don't want to go too crazy because it is flat poured a little bit in and adhere the last flap down and honestly that's it how good is that it's so easy and oh i'm i'm just i'm in love i'm in love it's literally flat with well i mean it's got a little bit of tiny bit dimension sort of thing but you don't have to fluff around with foam tape and doubling it up making sure you're seeing it's all sealed 
So you find your packaging, just make sure that you've got enough to be able to fold over the cardstock and seal it all up nice and well with some double-sided tape and that's it. I've got little strips here that have the, I'm just going to fold over a little bit. It's just off cuts from whatever I was cutting maybe for the last card or something and I folded those over but you can see there it's not a strong fold it's got a bit of length a bit of dimension to it these aren't measured at all so I'm just going to eyeball them we're going to stick this underneath our little penguin with our hat he's so cute all these I'm going to be making more I just know more cards with this paper pad well I've got to use it up don't I but more shaker cards with this paper pad it's just so pretty and you can see it's really really simple it's so simple it's ridiculous and so much fun so give this a try you know if you're over on Instagram um, make sure you tag me and I'll leave my tag up here and just show me what you do because these are everywhere at the moment so that will tell you a lot they're a lot of fun they're really good fun just going to find some foam tape just this is going to obviously give it a little tiny bit dimension this is very very thin foam tape but also I'm making sure that my little strips on the side stay stay put going to place that in the center we're then going to glue this onto our card base and that is pretty much going to be it see please have it have a go they're so much fun and they just they're so easy so that's my card for today i hope you enjoy it i hope you are well and happy take care i will talk to you next time bye